Hey everyone, it's A Royal Panda here, and in this video, we are going to be using the L85A1, which is a special issue assault rifle that has a 31 round mag. And honestly, I had a lot of fun using this weapon. And obviously, I've used the L85 before, but either way, I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please make sure to hit that like button, I would really appreciate it. But anyways, after making my way to this truck to get the portable signal detector out of it, I heard someone creeping up, and I'm going to shut up now and let you guys see what happens. After taking out a third person, I realized that the guy that I was shooting at before actually picked up a care package and was headed towards the exit, so I tried to catch up with him, but I was unable to, so I decided to just go over to this phone booth and use the phone, and then head to signal detector.
right now when you are a threat. After getting threat, I looted his body and took everything that I wanted from him, and I actually wanted to ask you guys something. Have you guys been having a problem with trying to swap to secondaries? Like right here, I tried to swap to my secondary to reload them to get the ammo out of my inventory. But at first it just completely put my weapons away instead of pulling out my secondary. But anyways, it's not really that big of a deal, it's just kind of annoying and it could get you killed in the middle of a fight because you do have to try to swap to your secondary twice before it actually pulls it out. But after getting my inventory figured out, I decided to go ahead and run towards the fifth guy that I knew was camping this exit straight up in front of me, but... Once I got over there, I was actually unable to find him, so I just turned around and went out the exit and decided that it was time to move on to the second match. Going into the second game, I went ahead and marked signal detector because I wanted to head straight there, but on my way there I heard a car alarm going off in car lot, so I went ahead and went towards that instead. After managing to take out the guy that set off the car alarms, things got a little hectic for a little while, so I had to push back and heal up. But after things calmed down a little bit, I decided to push back up and try to get back in some of the action.
I finally pushed up exactly where the guy was that I was firing at just a moment ago, but I couldn't find him so I decided to go to the truck that spawns with a signal detector in it just to see if it was there. So then maybe I could use it to find where he is. After using the portable signal detector I found out that he was in the exact same place the last time that I seen him and I just couldn't find him for some reason. But after taking him out I decided to go ahead and loot locked container and then run over to signal detector to see if there was anybody left and I actually figured out there was a guy camping the same exit as the first game so I went ahead and made my way over there to see if we could find him. But after killing him while he was sitting in a bush, I don't actually think he was camping an exit, I think he was just not playing the game. And before I looted his body, I opened my map and pretty much watched the last guy leave the game with the care package. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. It lets me know that you enjoy my videos. And one more thing, if you do enjoy my content and you're not subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I would really appreciate that a lot as well. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I hope to see you in my next video. Stay royal and peace out.